Deborah Bortart, and this is your Marijuana Money Minute. This week, Governor Pritzker of Illinois signed HB 1438, legalizing adult use cannabis for people over the age of 21. This makes Illinois the 11th state to legalize recreational cannabis. It will also expunge the records of over 700,000 residents who were convicted of marijuana-related offenses. This bill also includes a social equity program, which will make it easier for those with marijuana convictions to get business licenses. And the program will be allocating $12 million for startup businesses related to cannabis. The Flower Corporation began a public offering of common shares for approximately $125 million Canadian dollars this week. It sent the stock down in trading as shareholders showed their displeasure at the dilution. Flower, though, said it intends to use the proceeds to fund part of its acquisition of Hologen Holdings. Private cannabis company Certera Wellness closed on a $100 million Series D funding round and they expanded their board of directors. Certera said it plans to use the proceeds to fund strategic acquisitions and do some infrastructure capital spending. Participants in the round included existing and new investors. One of them is the Patron Spirits Company CEO Ed Brown, who is also a new board member. Certera also said that they are acquiring Molecular Infusions. That is a Boston-based biotech research and development company. Green Growth Brands continues its takeover of the mall as Abercrombie & Fitch said it would sell their 7th Sense Botanical Therapy products in 160 stores. That follows a trial period that must have been pretty successful if they decided on a much bigger rollout. A couple of acquisitions to go over this week. Driven Deliveries completed the acquisition of Gondra Runner a uh, cannabis delivery company that is outside of, yeah, inside of California. Navis Holdings completed the purchase of a little over 2.2 million shares, uh, fit, basically 49% of Canova Medical. They are a provider of innovative solutions for cannabis consumption. They do have the option to acquire the remaining 51%. Vice Ventures said it closed on its first $25 million fund. Vice Ventures is an investment management company that focuses on developing early stage companies in what it calls the vice space. That's going to include cannabis. The company was founded by Catherine Dockery, who served as an early member of the digitally native vertical brands M&A team over at Walmart. And she did that alongside Bonobo CEO Andy Dunn. And finally, it's Pride Week. We commend all those who have fought, well, really Pride Month. And we commend all those who have fought for the rights of the LGBTQ community. Love is love. Respect each other and embrace who you are because we think you are all beautiful people. And that's it for this week. I'm Deborah Borchart with the Green Market Report.